guys this is a night time with Kella painting with me um anyways i feel a little bit um discouraged and a little bit sad um i am looking at my life and i'm like wow i'm 30 years old <laughs> i can't believe it i'm not even a kid no more i'm an adult <laughs> but anyways um i'm looking at my life and i'm like oh god like i am you know once again i'm a child of god and i love god and you know i try to follow his way and be you know better human being every day i try to i'm not perfect and i never will be but with christ jesus i'm sure i can become better and better every day and um represent him the best way i can um but anyways um i'm just feeling a little sad just a little bit in this courage because um i wish i'm like wow i am at this age of my life and i don't have any friends it is sad <laughs> um because i had like if <laughs> if i show you the month of pictures video and clips i have billions of memory of everyone in my life from the past like i love country memory um, I had friends, many friends, and it shouldn't be a negative thing to talk about because I feel like everybody goes through this. And once again, I want to be a role model, a leader, and how can I help others? And if you're going through the same situation as me, just know you're not alone. I, wow, I'm 30 years so I'm not a kid anymore. I guess when, you know, when you're young, again, you know, everybody, when they're young, they have, you know, friends and play with everybody, everybody's your friend. And when, th when you go through high school, okay, you have selected friends and, you know, people who you can hang with or vibe with. I was very friendly in high school, so I never really, like, I was friend with a lot of people. And then, you know, throughout high, after high school, I, every job that I went, I always made a friend and or you know acquaintances like, and now when you're older you call them acquaintances you call them like i don't know what do you call them acquaintances i think so um but anyways um i try to not like go in too much detail without hurting anyone feeling that might be watching this if they don't have a youtube channel i love and still care <sighs> For all my friends, ex friends, <laughs> ex friends, <sighs> anyways, <clears throat> and I cover them in the blood of Jesus. I, you know, I, if anyone is watching this, who was my ex-friend or, you know, if I have hurt you in any way, I'm sorry. It was not my intention. Um, once again, I am now 30. <laughs> I'm not a kid anymore. But, um, have you ever feel like you outgrown your friend? And I feel like, um... I'm trying to discover myself, better myself, and I feel like your friends supposed to kind of represent you in a way. Like, you know, I, I don't know. I Once again, I do follow um, Christ Jesus, and I believe that. But even the Bible says, you know, your friends are someone who you are, like, you know. And even when you're young, your parents say, be careful who you hang with. Not every, everybody's your friend or, you know. You know the whole topic about friendship and, you know, your friends are who you are. Or don't hang with the wrong crowd because they might leave you or, you know. Um. Anyways, I I don't regret anyone. And I mean it with the bottom of my heart. <sighs> I had so much, I had so much fun memory with many of my ex-friends i don't regret any one of them <laughs> i love them
and the beautiful thing <laughs> um <clears throat> okay <laughs> not gonna cry <laughs> the beautiful thing about it is that you learn you learn to like it's like school <laughs> you know i want to try to be positive it's like school when you are in grade one oh my arm hurts from holding my phone <laughs> when you're in grade one you learn i don't know how to read or spell right and when you're in grade five you learn how to like obviously <laughs> write and spell better and when you're in grade 10, you by now know pff, you can write a book. <laughs> you, know? you get what I'm trying to say? Like you, the older you get and for example, different grade, you learn more. I feel with friendship, um, you learn, you grow. And the, the beauty of life is that each and every one. And I feel like sometimes you, I try to look, uh, you know, this is saying, look at the cup, half full and half empty. <laughs> I want to be the person who look at the thing half full and half empty and I don't regret any one of my ex-friends. I love them and I pray for, I always will pray for each and every one of them and I cover them in the blood of Jesus and, um, sorry, I'm just, you know, I'm very like, I have a lot of passion and love in my heart. I don't mean harm and I don't mean um, I don't, if I ever, once again, if anyone might be watching this, I don't mean to cause hurt or pain to anyone. And please, dear God, I'm asking if I hurt anyone, if I hurt anyone, please forgive me. Um, you know, I also, I'm not perfect. And I know sometimes, you know, when you're young, like I had deal, like I'm not going to go in detail with my life, but I have deal with a lot. And, um... Long story short, <laughs> um, I know <clears throat> I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> I'm not gonna cry. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> It is okay to cry. Nothing's wrong with cry, but I'm gonna be strong. I know, <laughs> I know what it is. Oh gosh! <laughs> ah! <clears throat> I know what it is not to feel like you're loved. Okay. I um um <clears throat> without going into much details, um I always wanted somebody <clears throat> there for me. <sighs> This is hard. <laughs> um, I can do this. I can do this. Okay. So I know what it, you know, I know, <clears throat> I know the feeling of not being loved. Oh gosh, don't do this for God. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> It's allergy. <laughs> okay. And I always, um, <clears throat> I always try to, I know the feeling of feeling like abandoned when you have nobody <sighs> uh, and you are, <clears throat> So, um, <clears throat> <Woo! laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> so I always try, wow, <laughs> I always try to be, be, you know, like, 
some people, when they get hurt, they try to be mean or they just, you know, they don't know how to, and everybody's different, how to like express themselves or, or express love or be gentle, be friendly. I'm the opposite. I've been, I like, that's another story because it's just too much. <clears throat> I've been through so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, long story short, um, <clears throat> long story short, so, um, um, <clears throat> I always want it, and I don't regret my, when I'm any of my ex-friends, <laughs> because they taught me how to love, how to be patient, how to, you know, support, be supportive, you know, support all things, believe all things, you know, hope in all things, you know, and I, I have grown so much and I am who I am today because of my experiences. I try to look alive, the cup, how full they have empty, and I don't regret anyone. Um, yeah, sometimes some pain were really hard, like, oh my God, <laughs> were very, like, whew, it's like, I had to catch my breath <laughs> and I had to face battle after battle. Get up, fight again. Get up, fight again. It's like I never really had a break. But anyways, life is given to the strong and not to the weak. <laughs> um <clears throat> and um I was I feel I I felt that I was I'm always been a very nourishing person. I I don't know why, but like I always like you know, I don't know, like I like to like when if I see something broken, I like mending it together. <laughs> I'm very good at like recycle recycling thing. Like if something you know, some people like oh just throw it away. Um I am Dominican, so I never I grew up very humble. I don't I didn't I didn't have much growing up. So I always used to make my own dolly or play with like you know, plastics, um, things and toys and make it like something or like sticks and stone, like, you know, the back home box lifestyle, like a real back home lifestyle. Like I came from the most humblest place. Like I didn't have much and it didn't took much to make me happy because I know like had to make fun out of anything. <laughs> like, I know how to survive. If it, it was what it was, <laughs> if it was um rice and beans that's gonna be it if it was um i don't know oat it oatmeal will be it like honestly i am grateful that life didn't give me everything because i feel like when god when life gives you everything all at once you don't know how to be how to survive you don't have survival skills like when you're when you when you're too pampered and everything is in like if to each their own you know what i mean but i feel like I am thankful that God brought me so far that I, you know, I, um, I have been through so much, but it have made me strong and it made me to, um, appreciate the simple thing to like be happy about the simple thing to create anything out of anything. So anyways, I've always been a very nourishing person. I'm very like, I love fixing things. I always, I'm actually very creative. I love, I'm, I'm a cancer. I was born July 11. So I'm very like nourishing mother type, type of person. I like, you know, I, I love, I, I, I don't mean to change anyone, but I feel like, okay, it my friend is going through something or they're or they um they're not you know mentally or physically in any way you know at, at a level that they want to be i want to be that per friend or that person that uplift and encourage them or help them and i try to always leave the play up leave a place or a person better than how i i, I came or you know sigh so um i always being that kind of friend that friend that you can call on that you know um financially physically mentally spiritually i'm always there either a prayer or hey i have to stay at your house or hey can you help me i've always been that kind of girl because i know i never had that i never had that you know in a sense like i never really like it, it was always kind of like a struggle when i needed to emergency or anything to like rely on anyone and it is it in like of course, you have to humble yourself and stuff like that. But anyways, and go through a different situation that you don't want to, but you have to just for the sake of surviving. But um, 
I I always try to be very supportive, very nourishing, very loving. Like I and I mean it. Like and I and I don't hate anyone. I don't have any hate towards anyone. I love all my exes, my ex friends, my exes, all my ex friends. Oh my god, I do. I I I care for them in many ways because they taught me a lot. How to love, how to be patient. You know, made me who I am today. I am who I am because of my pain. You know, I am. The kind of I will never let what's the outside come in the inside, and I always promise to God that as long as He gave me breath to breathe, I'm gonna try to represent Him <clears throat> the best way I can and be a good person. Anyways, what I was trying to say, the topic of this video is that I don't have any friends. I am at the point in my life where I'm like, wow, like, um, you know, long story short, without going too much details. Um, people walk away from me. Some people I had to exit out. Some people I had to, you know, delete, <laughs> blocked. And it's like some people just walked away and no explanation. Like, I've been so good to you. I, why have you hurt? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you pay me evil when I give you good. So, anyways, I am like, wow, right now, currently, I have no friends like it's so sad it's actually a little bit sad but at the same time i'm like you know what you i reached to a point in my life where i am growing and sometimes you can that people behind you cannot go to the next level with you and i try to look at it as like a cup like again half full and half empty and i try to look at it as um when you're seven years old and you have a size five shoes now that you're 25, for example, and your size shoes is a seven, um, a, five, a size five shoes cannot fit you when you're set 20 years old, 25 years old. Um, so sometimes you just, it's like you have, it's just, you have, life just keep going. You have to move on next level. You will not ride the same bicycle. Like when you're young, you ride two wheels, two wheel and a training wheels basically to help you. And you and you have a little <laughs> the little horn and a little cute little bike when you're young. Now that you're older, your bike is just two regular wheel, not no training wheel. Life continues on. I feel like I'm in a place in my life where even if people exit off or I had to block some people or some people just betray me or hurt me, regardless of the situation where I am currently now have no friends. Um I sometimes even though I never really had closure with some, most of my friends never had closure or explanation why they did what they did or the people who I do had to block off because they were so negative and toxic in my life. Um, regardless of what it is, I, I try to look at it as like, you know what, um, it's life continue on. I had to continue moving on. I know who I am and I know I'm a very extremely loving person. I am a very extremely loyal person and, uh, <clears throat> I deserve the best of the best because I am an amazing person and I say it with confidence. Anyone who has me as a friend is so blessed because I will be there for you to take and ten. Like I am that girl. You know what I mean? So um anyways I feel like your friend's supposed to represent you and I feel like you know for example if you have a friend you know him or she mentally physically or spiritually they're not providing one of them then why are, why are they really in your life mentally are they you know guiding you helping you physically are there some walking help you in any way or spiritually like you know like friendship supposed to besides you knowing somebody or you know having in common with somebody or knowing them because you know them it's like okay yeah that's fine but are they you know friends and sometimes we take the word the world the word friends so lightly like what is to be a friend like you know are you a friend like are you a good listener can you you know give people advice is your friend needs you like for example financially or any way and you know you have are you gonna be the friend that hey i got you and you know without any um you know, oh, I cannot wait until I get it back. You know what I mean? Give unto other without trying, like, um, rushing it to get it back and stuff like that. Like, are you a friend that behind their back, you're loyal to them or, you know, you got them? Like, you know, it's so, and we take friendship so lightly. And I feel like now in this, in this generation, friendship are just like, we're friends. Pictures, let's go out to the restaurant. And it's like, it's just like, 
it was i feel like nowadays friendship is kind of like a status like oh yeah bff like i don't know it's not i miss the i am such, i'm an old school i'm a 90 baby i miss the gener genuine old school friendship like no girl i'm coming i'm there for you i don't care what you say i'm like you know they got you like i miss the old school real like back in the days doesn't matter what happened i got you like i'll take a bullet for you kind of friend nowadays more like a status picture like oh hey friend hey girlfriend bff like it's not really like but anyways that's the new generation but like i miss having generate friends where conversation is real when you can talk about real dark stuff and we can support each other where you don't have to feel like you're in a competition with your friend you you and, and your friend shouldn't be in a competition like oh who's better who got it like no life is not a competition you shouldn't have to feel like you're you 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 know like your um why is my friend jealous of me they shouldn't it shouldn't be any kind of like no i feel like I don't know if you're feeling that like your friend is, you know, a little bit envious or jealous of you or, or, or like vibing different or in a competition with you. Then that's not a friend or call you when they need to or once in a while check out. Like that's not a friend and, or not supportive of you in any way. Like, no, don't have a friend just for the sake of having them. Your friends become your family. Like your friend become your family. And, um, you want people who you can, you know, count on in emergency or in um, crisis or in good days or fun days or in good or like, you know, regardless, you don't want like you want good, genuine people. But anyways, I I am reached a point in my life where I am seeking more my sharp friend, genuine people who want the best for me as I want the best for them that we can both encourage one another that we're not in. And there shouldn't be a competition of anything, no, no jealousy or any vibe or any hate, hatred or anything towards one another. Like, there's no need for that. Like, I don't want that. I want genuine people that, hey, I got you. Hey, I have a promotion, but um, I put in your resume as well. Because, girl, if I'm good, you're good. Or, you know, hey, girl. um, Like, you want people who want the best for you because they also are happy and they want you to see you succeed i am at the level where i want that i want people who want the best for me and i want the best for them that we're both helping one another loving one another loyalty is everything y'all like loyalty is everything for me you know what i mean and love and, and caring and, and like i am a giver i love giving and i love seeing other people happy and i don't i i want to see that in return why not like i want to see somebody who is generous and loving, giving, supporting, you know, why not? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's draining. Like, it's like putting, it's like putting, it's like putting so much in one thing and not getting it back. It's also draining. No, like you want the same energy, love, affectionate, you know, attention, like support back in return. If you're putting so much effort into one thing and like, you know what I mean? But anyways, I, um, so it, it is sad in some ways but i currently have no friends but i know that god that i serve my jesus christ um he is such a good father to me that he will always provide me the things that i need regardless of anything and his time he will lead me the right path with the right people the opportunity the right blessing the right everything financially mentally physically everything my jesus christ is my everything i need and i you know, sometimes humanly, of course, you want to be loved. You want to call on somebody, talk to somebody, you know, a bang to somebody. <laughs> humanly, you want to do that because it's you. We are a, a creature of love. We love. God created us to be interacting one another. Like you're not supposed to be alone. I don't believe in being alone all the time. That's not healthy. You're supposed to be interacting, loving, having fun, sharing each other up. Like two is better than one. And I am a very loving, expressive, affectionate kind of girl. And I love to love. I love to love. Okay, guys? I need a good I need good friends. But anyways, I currently right now don't have any friends. And it is sad and lonely. I don't like to be lonely. Ew. Like, no. But I also respect myself enough that I'm not going to keep running backwards when I'm not getting spiritually, mentally, physically lifted, supported, or loved in any way. And I'm running back. I don't want to keep running back to the same toxic, 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 
tax, toxic environment that is not leading me nowhere in any way, self growth, self growth in anything or any way, spiritually, mentally, or spiritually or physically. Wow. <laughs> okay, so no, we're talking Raquel. But anyways, um, I don't have any friends. <laughs> this my youtube channel is more like a diary to me but anyways to anyone who um feel alone and don't have any friends feel like you're not being supported the right way or loved um just you know you have we have to value ourselves we have to respect ourselves you have to know when it's enough it's enough when you're not being recognized value respected or you know you're not getting the return back of the same love support that you give unto other love yourself you know um, cut off this is 2021 life is getting hard life is getting you know it's real and you know god is coming soon you want to have you want to go in the right path with the right people who will guide you and help you along the path not to drain you down so um to anyone that is going through the same situation as me feeling lonely god i just want to say to anyone god loves you um you are special unique beautiful and you should never lower your standard or um lower your who you are just to be with somebody or be around someone um god loves you and i know that i myself feel a little bit lonely feel a little bit sad but god is so beautiful that he will provide at the right time the right person the right friend the right people in my life that will be there for me and like i if you know who you are and you're it's in all honesty a genuine person very loving supportive person you will attract the right person the right energy the right you know what i mean in bar, you want to be in the right environment to attract the right people and sometimes it's good to start fresh so i feel like i'm starting fresh um hey to the world of youtube and everybody um if you feel the same way as me just comment down below let me know and um let's be friends <laughs> let's be why not you can find the most amazing people when you least expect it so you guys want to be a friend let's be a friend <laughs> <laughs> and we can support one another and uplift one another i just want genuine people people who have good intention like you know and who are loyal i'm a very loyal person and a friend to me is like a family so like i got you you know what i mean but i want that return i want that loyalty i got you back in return so yeah <laughs> if you want to be a friend comment down below if you go into a situation like similar like me let me know well, how are you dealing with it comment down below and we can go through it together and help one another encourage one another and be there for one another bye guys